Well, hello, this is Apostle Tommy Quick, and thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you'll find this informative and helpful. I'm just sitting here reading the Word of God, and it says here in Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black, astonishment hath taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? You know, I find this quite interesting because the prophet Jeremiah is talking about the daughters of Israel. And he's talking about their hurt and their need to be recovered. And when I think about it, what I realize that he's talking about is male sexuality. You know, male sexuality, when it is not controlled, when a man does not have a conviction, is not concerned about being loyal to one woman, when a man, praise God, uh, thinks that he's a man because he has or pursues many women, it is the most dangerous thing that can take place in any society. The family, a man never takes the root and never becomes the asset that God intends for it to be. And I'm learning that if we are going to recover our families today, men have to take responsibilities for teaching their sons how to control their sexuality. We must teach them to pursue to be the husband of one wife and a father and be a present father in the life of their children. And no man will ever be able to do that without learning to sacrifice, without learning to mortify his body, without developing the will to be content and to be uh, devoted to his family. You know, it has been said that a woman has natural bondage. Uh, she's bonded to the family naturally because she conceives the seed. She carries it for nine months. She nurtures it. She's the principal nurturer. And she, by nature, is more bonded to the family than the male. The male has to determine with his will that he's going to be a man at home. He's going to be dedicated. He's going to be committed. He's going to be a loyal husband and a present father because he doesn't have the natural bonding uh, effect. He doesn't have the help of nature to help him bond. So a man has to have God in his life. He has to believe in holiness, righteousness. He has to understand that God has given him great creative power. And as one with creative power, he has a responsibility and will one day have to give an account for it because it can be devastating to families, to children, to women, and to society. I want you to join me as we take the fight to the feminists and we take the fight to the culture in which we live. Christian families against destructive decisions. When 77% of our babies are born out of wedlock and are raised without their dad, it is time to engage and get in the fight. When nobody wants to talk about the issue, amen, because for fear of backlash, whenever the governors won't talk about it and the mayors won't talk about it, the congressmen won't talk about it, the teachers won't talk about it, amen, the professors won't talk about it, amen, no one wants to deal with it because when you do, you get a backlash from society which is preaching freedom and uh, individualism and autonomy and mobility and self-aggrandizement at the cost of children, at the cost of killing a uh, half a million babies a year. Let me tell you, it's time for us to do something about it. I want you to join me. Look us up on Facebook, Christian Families Against Destructive Decisions. Amen. Look us up on our website. Amen. CFAD, C F A D D dot com. And join the movement to save the family. This is Apostle Tommy Quick. I look forward to a conversation with you on a regular basis. And I want you to know that we're dealing with fatherhood. And I want to say to all the fathers out here today, respect your baby's mother. The greatest love that you can show your child is to show respect for your child's mother. And likewise, for the mother to respect you. And when you do, you create an environment where the child feels safe and wanted. And it goes far to help that child, amen, to make an adjustment to live successfully in this life. God bless you. We love you. Apostle Quick here. And we'll talk to you real soon.